Hey everyone, welcome back to The Homestead. Today I'm going to show you how to identify and utilize one of my favorite medicinal herbs that most people overlook as a weed. Here's a stunning example of mullen, or verbascum thapsus, growing in my garden. I call mullen the hippie mucinex because it is so useful for dealing with respiratory or throat issues. This is another one of those herbs that is so easy to identify. Once you learn how to identify mullen, you will see it everywhere. Let's start off with some basic identifying facts. The first thing you need to know is that mullen is a biennial plant. That means it lasts for two years and has two different phases of growing. The leaf is soft, fluffy, oval shaped, and attached in a rosette pattern. When in flower, the stalk can be as tall as two meters and has densely packed yellow flowers with five petals. Now that we know how to identify the plant, let's talk about how to harvest and utilize it. In this first year stage, be sure to only take about a third of the total leaf matter if you want it to grow back next year so that you can harvest the flowers or if you are in a wild location so you do not disturb the growth and propagation of the plant. To do this, pull the small, densely packed, fluffy leaves. The larger, less fluffy leaf is less useful medicinally. This specimen, along with many others, are growing in my garden, and I have a ton of wild mullen out on the back of my property, so I'm not super worried about conserving this plant. Therefore, I'm going to take up the whole plant. Just grab by the base of the plant and pull directly up. Shake off the dirt, and there you go. At this point, you have a couple of options to choose from to process your mullen leaf. One requires tools, the other one I call the lazy girl way, and it's probably my favorite. To do this, get some string or yarn, tie it to the root end, and hang your mullen plant upside down in a corner of your home to dry. This process takes longer, but it's really easy. Depending on the size of your specimen, it could take anywhere from a couple of days to up to a couple of weeks to dry out. You will know it's ready to move on to the next step when the leaf is crispy and crumbles like a cracker. Now, if you're in a hurry or you don't want plants hanging from your rafters like me, you can use a dehydrator. Place the leaf on your trays with plenty of breathing room. Don't overcrowd your trays. Dehydrate your mullen on the herb setting or approximately 95 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. You may need to go as high as 125 if you're in a humid location. It should take one to three hours to dehydrate depending on volume and your humidity. We test for doneness the same way as we check the hanging plants. Just crack a leaf in your hand and there should be very little bend before it crumbles like a cracker. And we're done processing. At this point, I store my mullen in old candle jars. I try to reduce, reuse, recycle whenever possible, and I find them very useful for storing herbs, especially with the convenient pop top. Another great way to store your herbs is in a mason jar, and it can be helpful, especially again, if you're living in a humid area, to use a silica gel pack in the bottom of your jar. Super easy to find. I'll toss a link to Amazon in the description box below. So we figured out how to identify mullen, how to harvest and process mullen, but what about how to actually use the mullen medicinally? For that, let's bust out my amazing herbalism book. This book was gifted to me by my amazing mother-in-law. It was her very first book on herbs when she was starting to figure these sorts of things out, and it is a fantastic resource. This is the 1976 printing of The Herbalist by Joseph E. Myers. In this book, it says that mullen is useful for, it is useful for coughs, colds, and diarrhea. It can be boiled in milk and sweetened to drink for internal use for diarrhea. It can be boiled with hot water and vinegar for external irritations like hemorrhoids. And we can add a handful of herbs to boiling water and then inhale the steam to help with sinus and throat irritation. And then lastly, and I think most commonly, uh, you can use the mullen leaf to make a tea, which is how I prefer to use it. The recipe for the tea is one teaspoon of mullen leaf to a cup of boiling water. And this guide suggests waiting to drink the tea until it's cold and then drinking up to two cups daily. So let's make a cup, shall we? I find mullen really helps me to decongest and help me manage sore throats when I have a cold. 
I also love to pair mullein with things like elderberry, rose hip, and honey because it can be quite bitter. I hope you all enjoyed the video today and our deep dive into the wonderful world of mullein. Do please hit the like button, subscribe, and do all of that wonderful YouTuber stuff. It helps out the channel so much. And I would love to chat with you guys down in the comment sections or on our other social media profiles, which are in the description box. And if you have ever used Mullen before, I would love to hear about your guys' experiences as well. See you next week.